What's going on everyone? You're back with your boy Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to have a look at how to create factor trees and this is where we're finding prime factors of a number with an incredibly easy scaffold. Sometimes it's really helpful for us to express a number by its prime factors. This is where it can't be broken down anymore. We might just need a little reminder of what a prime number is. So a prime number only has one factor pair one and itself. We can't break the number down in any other way. So if we're trying to get to the number two, the only way we can do that is one times two. If we're trying to get to three, it's one times three. But if we were trying to get to four, we could do two times two and one times four. So four is not a prime number. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Then on the other side, 5, 7, and 11 are all also prime numbers. These are the ones we're going to be focusing on in this lesson, and most of the questions you see will be using these numbers. Just a little hint, 2 is the only even prime number, because anything else can be divided by 2 if it is even, meaning that it's not a prime. So 2 is a really important thing to look at. Anytime you've got an even number, we know we're going to have a 2 as a factor. So the factor trees that we're going to draw are just a scaffold to find these prime factors really, really easily. The only hint that you need to know for this lesson is please be neat. You don't need a ruler or anything like that, but just scaffold it carefully because the only mistakes that people make is when they rush through it way too quickly. So we're going to start with 24 and I want to find the prime factors of this number. The first thing that you need to know is that it doesn't actually matter what numbers you start with. 24 does have a lot of factor pairs, but it does not matter which one you start with. We're going to do it twice just so you see that 100% for sure. So what I'm going to do is under that 24 is draw two branches. That's why it's called a factor tree. All I've got to do here is write a factor pair. So I'm going to write 2 times 12. You don't actually have to write that times in, but the 2 and 12 are saying that these two numbers multiplied together give the number up top. Two is a prime factor, so we're gonna stop this branch right here. I actually like to underline it with a little red pen. Now I've gotta do the exact same thing for the 12. I've gotta draw two branches from it and write down another factor pair. This one I'm gonna do two times six. Again, you don't need that times there. Underneath the two, that's another prime factor, so we're stopping here. We can't break it down anymore. And then I have to break the six down into two times three. So now I've got two, 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 and three, and these are the prime factors for 24. A really easy way to check that these are the prime factors, if I multiply all of these together, it will give the answer of 24, or the number I started with. So two times two is four, times two is eight, times three is 24. So that means this is 100% correct. 2, 2, 2, and 3 are the prime factors of 24. Really quickly, we're just going to do 24 again, but this time I'm going to use 3 times 8 as my first factorization. So 3 is obviously a prime factor, and now I'm left with 8. 8 is broken down into 2 times 4. 2 is finished, so I just have to break that 4 up into 2 times 2. So now I've got 3, 2, 2, and 2, which is exactly the same as before. So it shows that it doesn't matter what you started with, as long as you do the factorizing properly, you're going to be 100% correct. For this last example, we've got 56 and 7 times 8 is equal to 56. 7 is a prime number, so this side is absolutely finished. And now I've got to break this 8 up again. 8 breaks up into 2 and 4. That 4 breaks up into 2 and 2. So now I've got 7, 2, 2 and 2. To make sure I got this correct, all I've got to do is multiply these prime factors together. And if it gives me the answer of 56, well, I know I got it right. So seven times two is equal to 14, times two is equal to 28, times two is equal to 56. So that means I got this correct. 56, the prime factors are seven, two, two, and two. Full marks, 100%. The big pro tip from me is always check your answer at the very end. Because they are factors, they're all gonna multiply to the first number. So all you've gotta do is just whack them into your calculator at the end. If it gets to the same number, you definitely got it right. This is a really good way to just double check that you did get the answer correct, and it might get you 100%. Thanks so much for watching this lesson, guys, and I'll see you later. 